And one of those fundamental equalizers is that opportunity to get a higher education, to advance in society, to change your economic outlook. I grew up in a lower middle class family. I not only had student loans, I also had Pell Grants. I was fortunate. But back when I went to college, you were still able to pay back your loans in often about a five-year period. But growing more and more, it's a 10-year, 20-year payment back in order to be able to afford those rising student costs. And that is taking a bite not only out of the current economy, but out of the opportunities for those people getting those degrees so they can improve their lives and their families' lives and rise either into the middle class uh, or to better their lives overall. So the Congressional Progressive Caucus uh, has had this as a central focus. How can we help lift those in poverty uh, to the middle class and help those in the middle class to have every chance and opportunity that they should have? Those student loans uh, are a crucial part of that. If we let this bill pass, 1911, tomorrow in this body, uh, we will put a financial burden on the backs of those who need it the most, uh, those who are taking out loans to afford college. And if we do nothing as a body, the interest rate will double from 3.4 percent to 6.8 percent come July 1. Congress has to act. Now this body has been able to vote 37 times to try to repeal the Affordable Care Act and the benefits to America's families from the Affordable Care Act. 37 times, yet we have not found a way yet to fix the student loan crisis. And we simply need to do that, and that's why the Progressive Caucus is fighting so hard for that.